Hey everybody, my name is Sunny. I assume you are here for another DIY and you are in luck because I have got a great one. Today I am going to show you two desk organization and room decoration DIYs using empty box packages. So go find all the empty boxes in your house. Remember to subscribe for more DIY inspirations every Thursday and let's get started. To make this beautiful file folder, you will need one of your empty cereal boxes. First, I'm going to cut out the long skinny side using a pair of scissors. And I'm going to keep the strip I cut out. Next, I am going to close up the opening using some pieces of tape. And I will reinforce the side with the long strip we cut out previously since they should be the same width. And cut off the extra height. The best part about DIYing is that you can customize everything to your liking. So I'm going to make the file folder opening a wavy pattern, but you can make it anything you like. Then carefully cut out the section by following the pattern you have drawn, and make sure the edge is as clean as possible. Then flip over to the back side and flip the pattern as well so the front and back will look the same. Trace the pattern, then cut it out. And you have the basic shape to your file folder. A 8.5 by 11 inch paper should fit it perfectly. Now let's decorate it. Apply a generous amount of glue to the surface, especially on the edge. I printed out some cute patterns I found online to cover the file folder with. But you can use anything else you want. Press down firmly to make sure everything is well glued. Then cut off the excess by tracing the edge. Since I printed out my pattern, the paper size is too small to cover everything at once. So I had to cover the surface piece by piece. But you can avoid this by using a large sheet of paper that covers the whole thing. And you are done! You will definitely not be able to buy a file folder with such a cute pattern and such a unique shape. To make these beautiful wall hangings, you will again need to save some empty boxes to your delicious snacks, some beautiful prints I took out of the magazine, and a sheet of pattern I printed from online. Let's start by taping close the opening using some scotch tape. Then take your print, and you kind of want to see if the print looks better horizontally or vertically when placed on the box. I think this one looks better horizontally. Once you found the desired position for your picture, hold the position in place using a piece of tape. Then we're going to glue everything down by applying a generous amount of glue to all sides. Then press it down firmly to smooth out the bubbles. As you see, most of the sides are left uncovered. This is where the printed pattern sheet comes in handy. Roughly measure the length and width of the side, but leave about a half inch of extra space. Then cut it out. Place the sheet over the side and run your finger over the edge to mark out the exact size. And we're going to fold at the mark on both sides. I like to fold in the edges because it gives a cleaner look. Check to see if the size fits well. Cutting the corner off will also make the look cleaner. Once you have the exact size, apply a generous amount of glue to the surface and glue the pattern on. Do the same thing to the other three sides as well, and you are done! I think the patterned border ties together multiple images well and give them a common seam. Simply glue them to the wall using some double-sided tape. Thanks for watching. I hope you will make it yourself. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up. If you can't wait for my next DIY, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out my old DIYs. They are also really great. 
head on over to my other channel for some awesome cooking videos and I will see you all next week. Bye!